So, to the picturesque English coast for the Nature Valley International in Eastbourne. Do you know, you cannot get it better. If you go 100 yards that way, you've got the ocean. You go 100 yards that way, and you've got the South Downs, an area of natural beauty. And when the sun is shining like now, this is the perfect venue, I have to say. No offence to anyone else, but it is. The field was strong with several young talents eager to gain more confidence on the grass. It's uh, my second day on grass this year. I am feeling great, uh, trying to, to improve here. This season I, I need to do better than the last one on, on grass and this tournament is really nice uh, to play. You know, really happy with my body, how I'm feeling and how I'm moving and everything's going great. I've always loved playing on grass, so it's, uh, you know, despite my results the last couple weeks, I'm really enjoying myself on the courts and I feel like I could really turn around this week. But all eyes were on the wild cards. Two men on the comeback trail. You've got Murray, you've got Stan, and it, it's a real credit to all those involved that um, they're here, and it's good for everyone. Both eager for match play, both looking to rediscover form, mouth-watering for the home fans. There was talent everywhere you looked with excitement building around a British number one, Kyle Edmund. British tennis is in a good place. It's growing. Edmund's done phenomenal for not just himself, a game for the sport. Off the courts, question time for the Eastbourne fans. Jared Donaldson, a willing participant, in a press conference for local families. It's obviously great to see that, that uh, the game of tennis is in great hands at the grassroots level with a lot of uh, nice and young, smart kids along with their, with their parents. Um, so I think that that was a lot of fun and I hope that uh, I shared at least a little bit of good advice. Meanwhile, Denis Shapovalov was chilling out with WTA star Caroline Wozniacki as they competed to make the best ice cream sundae. I'm kind of nervous, to be honest. <laughs> I'm taking this very seriously. Here we go. Don't try and steal. Get out of my way. I have a secret tactic. This is going to be the most legendary creation. See, now we go with the fruits. We need a little bit of peanut butter and a little bit of fruits. It was a lot of fun, yeah, being along with Caroline, making these, uh, so a little strawberry. These, uh, these special creations of ours. A little bit more sauce. We need, we need a layer of whipped cream, too, you know? What is that, cherry? Uh, uh, you know, obviously, I'm the true winner here today. Mine was clearly a lot better than hers. Everyone here agreed so, so uh, yeah, I'm very happy with my win today. <laughs> what, that's cheating. This is against the rules. I mean, she's hogging the whole station. I hear complaining, that's all I hear. <laughs> See, nobody's gonna wanna eat yours. Really? Because there's too much stuff in it. Mine's petite, and it looks friendly, you know? Put a little cherry up beside the little bear. Ta-da! I think uh, I had the, the nicest, the best looking, and the tastiest ice cream, so I definitely think I won. <laughs> it's a really nice guy, and I think it's, uh, it's fun, and to beat him and ice cream making, it's, uh, it's, been, it's been a fun day. This has been a huge confidence booster for me. I feel like, uh, you know, I'm ready. I'm ready for this week now. <laughs>